Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to teach you how to create your own video editing or image editing software using Python. And for this we are going to use a main uh, as a main library OpenCV which is used to deal with the images and videos. And you can create your create or convert your videos into grayscale. You can change the brightness and also you can do a lot more things like adding blurs, saturation and other filters. So, if you are interested in learning on how to create these applications, then do subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell button to receive notifications of all the videos from this channel. And before starting, you need to have the little basics of Python. And along with that, I am going to teach you what is OpenCV and how to work along with it. So, this is the part 1 of OpenCV where we are going to see the basics like grayscale or how to read an image uh, which is already stored in your system that is a computer or uh, windows or mac system and you are also going to see how to add a blur and how to add a grayscale and how to resize the images so these are the basics that you are going to learn this video and if you uh, are interested in uh, getting with the series then do subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell button so without wasting any time let's get into the video So here we are in the Jupyter Notebook. So first of all, let us rename this to uh, Open CV Part One. So it's Part One. So first of all, I am going to import the Open CV library that is required. So that is CV2, and um, along with that, I am going to import Matplotlib library in order to display the image. That is to plot the image. So let us import matplotlib dot by plot as plt and uh, now let me I am going to create a variable to store the image and I am going to read the image from the uh, system that is the code is cv2 that is telling cv2 or that is open cv library to read that is im read which is the command and passing the location of your file and I am going to pass my location you can choose any image so I have chosen a uh, bit of a car so now let's check whether it's running properly so plt dot show and you're going to pass img and you're going to run the command and so you have uh, you're getting image but it feels that there's something wrong with the image but I'll deal with it soon so now there are two methods of uh, Outputting one is by the PLT that is uh, using the matplotlib library in order to uh, output, and the second method is the using the OpenCV itself. But the using OpenCV uh, will uh, consume a lot of resources and may lead to failure or the slowing of the device, which is actually happening in me. So I'm using a uh, matplotlib library in order to show, but the both works act, uh, actually works uh, pretty cool. Both there's no problem in both. So now let's continue with the video. So there's some problem as you can see that the colors are not matching. This is because the uh, color complexion uh, in this uh, pic is not in the format RGB but in the reverse of that BGR. So we need to convert it. So to convert, uh, you need to type. You can store it in the same uh, value or you can change it. Or you can have to write CV2 dot cvt and coloi that is convert color then you need to pass the image that you want to convert and then you need to pass cv2 dot color underscore bgr to rgb so now if i uh, run the command and run the entire program then you can see that there is a change in the color of the picture so let's try this you can see now it has come it, is, it has come in the perfect color where you can see blue and you can see the green over here and the sky is blue so uh, you can uh, change the colors using convert color and if you are interested in uh, creating the grayscale then you can just add a parameter comma zero which turns this image into a grayscale so it turns actually into a grayscale and if you add one 
instead of zero then uh, you're going to get the normal image so this is how this works because again went to the previous color because I have uh, deleted I have, sorry I have commented the uh, convert color option over here so if I uncomment this and if I run this so you're going to get the same image as you've got already so now let's move on to the next one that is of the adding blurness to your image so to add blur uh, there's nothing much to do you have to just uh, maintain this so well, let us create a new variable to store image and you have to add cb2 dot blur and you need to uh, add the parameter that is the image that which you want as the uh, which you want to may add blur and uh, in the parentheses you have to add two values like 5 and 5 so now if uh, you go and uh, output this view output blr the image stored in blr then you can see that the image is blurred and note that to ensure keep the proper blurness keep both the values the same grade otherwise if you keep one value high and the other value low then your image is going to look awkward or weird something like that so always maintain uh, the same uh, parameters both so that you can uh, uh, easily maintain the perfect blur in your picture and in the image as the value increases the blurness also increases so you can see like I can now uh, I'll run this so you can uh, see the image blur right now and if I do this one and even this is one then you can see what's the blurness in the image it's absolutely up to nothing but uh, if you can add 50 and uh, 50 and if you run this then it's absolutely blurred so you can't see what's the image so this is how you can add blurness to the image so these are the things that you learned in uh, the basic as a basic and in the next part two we are going to look at how to rotate the image and how to add much more colors how to uh, create an image in the form of a sketch and much more in the upcoming videos so if you are really interested in learning all these tricks then please do subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell button to know more about these functions and also to learn about other libraries that are associated or present in the python for more use thank you for watching